What's up everyone, it's the white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. This time we are talking about my diet or what I currently do to get shredded. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any requests or whatsoever, just drop them in the comment section. I try to respond on everything. First of all, I'm not a doctor as well. I don't have any form of medical degrees or whatsoever. This is all my personal opinion and how I see things do to my body. Be smart, think about your body. It's, it's your body, it's not mine. So I do with my body what I want. What I'm doing now is I'm 12 weeks into my cutting stage. I was bulking before. I went from 140 pounds uh, to 178 pounds. So I gained 38 pounds. But now I'm, I'm trying to cut down, lose the fat, the water weight. I currently weigh 163 right now. I lost 15 pounds, which if we do the math, 23 pounds of muscle gained in difference between the bulking and the cutting stage. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm cutting down for the summer, let's say that or something. I want my body to be used to the fact that I'm bulking or cutting. Uh, since I want to compete between now and the years. Okay, at first I had I had like problem with the abdominal fat. I could be very dry like everywhere, veins popping out. Always had the problem on the abdominals. All my fat gained on the abdominals. Didn't know what to do. I couldn't do a ketogenic diet. That shit is not for me. Yeah, they work, but they don't work for me. I mean, my mind is strong enough, but I just I just want carbs. Then I discovered carb cycling. A whole lot of people talk about carb cycling these days, but well, let me tell you something, it's helpful. It's been helpful for me to lose the abdominal fat. So let me explain you a little bit how carb cycling works. Let's say you're going to the gym, you're trying to build muscle, you're working out really intense, you're depleting your body. The glycogen in your muscles are getting depleted and you need to restore yourself. How do we do that is with carbs. So if I'm training, I should eat enough carbohydrates to refill my glycogen. So what if there is like a day I'm not even working out, I'm not going to the gym, should I be eating carbs then? Actually, the answer would be no. Why do you need these carbs? Muscle glycogens are, they're full. Why, why would you refill them? It just gets spilled over as fat. A whole lot of people think fat is the problem as in gaining fat, but it's not. It's, carbohydrates that spill over. Let's say you're not going to the gym, you just don't eat carbs. You have no carbs at all. I prefer to eat some carbs at breakfast and those are the carbs that are gonna get me saturated throughout the day and give me my energies. Let's say if I'm training uh, arms or a chest, shoulder workout, some smaller body parts, I would have moderate carb days. So get the levels moderate. It's moderate for me, probably around 100 to 150 grams carbs, probably 150. Spread it out as well, and mostly breakfast, carb load, then post-workout, carb load again. Then for the rest of the day, you could keep the carbs low, but just make sure that throughout the workout, the carbs are there, you know. So at days like that, you could think about moderate carbs. 150 grams works for me. Maybe you're a bigger guy, heavier guy, whatsoever you need, 200 try it out on yourself again this is my personal opinion and how i do it on my body let's say you have a high carb day days that we train big body parts like when you train back or you train legs probably the biggest body parts we got that's the day when we want to get the carbs higher because we're demanding a whole lot more from our body than just a bicep workout or whatsoever these days you could easily eat 250 to 350 grams of carbs until you're saturated. These are the days that eating a Burger King post-workout would be the best not so cheating option because your body just needs it. The sugars, the carbs, and everything you used. So when you're training back, when you train legs, the carbs high. See it as a high carb day and just keep it around 300 grams. But again, everybody's body is different. There's a whole lot of things out on the internet whether or not to do carb cycling, no carbs at all, ketogenic, like I said. You have to find out what works for your body. Just find someone like me who's honest and just tells you what it is. I'm still a young guy, I'm 24, I'm trying to build muscle just the fastest easiest way as possible so um okay that was it for carb cycling what i want to talk about now is my supplementation overall daily supplementation for health what vitamins what minerals do i use i will take you guys to my kitchen where i will be showing these uh, products and so we'll start off with something very simple actually you can see these are supplements i take every day every morning 13 pills this is a multivitamin by exercise nutrition it's a supplement company that's probably the biggest around here in the netherlands so just a multivitamin don't take 
a multivitamin, you're an idiot because I probably think their body needs this the most and this is just a minimum amount your body needs and it's not everything. So next on the list, organ support, aka anabolic androgenic support by enhanced athlete. Organ support complex. Okay. Vitamin K, grape seed, aged garlic. These extracts are actually really good. If you try to buy them separately, you will spend a whole lot of money on these. These are just for overall health, liver health, heart, cardiovascular. Great product. I take every day. Next up on the list, myoblock, a myostatin inhibitor. Lesses or blocks the myostatin. Myostatin is actually shown in like animals and rats to increase bone density, muscle mass. And Next is just Extreme Test 2.0, Natural Testosterone Booster, Ashwagandha, and all those those products are too expensive to buy separately, so I like to buy this. Of course, we use an omega-3 capsule. This is ultra pure. Okay, right there, we got Slim Pills Partitioning Agent by Enhanced Athlete as well. I use this like every day. This is probably one of the best products I've ever seen, and I'm not trying to sell it or something, but this is amazing let's say you're eating a pizza let's say you're consuming 100 grams of carbs from the pizza these pills if you take like three of them they will shuttle the carbs instead of spilling over the fat so that's amazing i really do believe it works i could eat mcdonald's every freaking day and just use these and still won't gain fat vitamin d3 thousand i use so that's 25 milligrams i take three of these why because the vitamin d3 supplement taken in high dosages is actually pretty anabolic itself so a sleep aid this is just melatonin or california poppy melatonin valerian root also GABA, this will naturally help support growth hormone. We got arachidonic acid, also by Enhanced Athlete. No, I'm not sponsored by them. They just have a whole lot of good products, okay? This product right here, it will increase the inflammation of the muscle. I really like to use it when I'm training my arms because my arms are used to a whole lot of punishment, you know? If I take this, my arms will get sore within the first set I'm doing. Crazy, like it's the first time I'm training my biceps. I don't take it every day, probably only on arm days. Then we got the MK2866 SARMs. One of the SARMs I use, so this is Osterine MK2866. It helps so you won't lose all the muscle when you're on a cut, so it's a SARM. And that's pretty much it for the supplements I take. Of course, I take a whey isolate and a creatine. But th these are products. A whole lot of people don't take these products or don't know why they should take these products. Take this, arachidonic acid, myostatin inhibitor, testosterone booster, slim partitionizer, the SARM. In combination with this, that will boost your growth hormone levels. Insulin, you got the anabolic acting, you got the inflammation, and you got the blocking of myostatin. This together, this this is just extremely anabolic. See a whole lot of people not even taking a multivitamin or whatsoever. This is not everything, okay? It could be a whole lot of more jars. I swallowed 13 capsules now. I don't want to swallow 20 or too much, okay? So that's about it for the supplementation I take on a daily basis. Daily basis. Drop a comment down below if you want a more specific product review on any of these products. Uh, I will do that. So, so I recorded this video today after my arm workout. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how what I currently look like. So you can see I'm still a small guy, but you know I got the physique of a bodybuilder, and that's what I want to achieve. So. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Am I right? Uh, drop it down below. Thanks again, guys. And subscribe uh, at that white boy from the yard, man.